So you know what really pisses me off about you know new business owners and new real estate investors is they think that just because they signed up for a coaching program or a webinar that somebody's just gonna give them the funding for their deals. Look guys, money is money. Whether it's 100,000 or 500,000 to fund a deal, you have to be able to prove that you can use that money appropriately. You have to be able to prove that you can use that money responsibly. So if you're brand new to real estate and you don't have any money of your own, you don't have any credit of your own, you don't have any experience of your own, the question is, is how are you gonna convince a private lender to work with you? Now, you can absolutely convince private lenders, banks, hard money lenders, asset-based lenders to work with you, even if you have no money, even if you have no experience, even if you have bad credit, even if you just got started. You know how I know that? Because that's what I did back in 2004. Got my very first private lender to give me $60,000 she gave me that $60,000 and I told her I'd pay her back 18% interest and she did. And I had done two real estate deals in my lifetime. I had no experience, I had no, no credit, I had really not any extra money. I had never really done many real estate deals so I know it can happen. But the truth is, if you wanna get funding for your real estate business, whether it's rental properties, commercial, rehabs, rehab flips, you have to be a student of the game. You have to know what are all the different types of lenders charging. You have to know what are private lenders, what are their alternatives for the financing that they could get, meaning they can invest in stocks, they can invest in bonds, they can invest with a financial advisor, they can invest in mutual funds, they can invest in businesses. How does your offer stack up? Guys, for the last 18 months, the stock market's just been kind of going sideways. So right now, there's billions, if not trillions of dollars that's looking for a home. And here, and the real estate market is going up. The real estate market is appreciating. People are making money in real estate, and yet I still have people come to me every day and say, I don't have enough funding. Well, come on, guys. Funding is the epicenter of a real estate investing business. You can certainly flip properties for quick cash. You can do wholesaling. You can wholesale commercial buildings. You can wholesale properties. That's all fine and good. But that's not a passive income strategy. If you want long-term passive income, if you want income to come from rentals or income to come from apartments, income to come from commercial deals, you have to have funding. The toughest type of funding to get is the acquisition funding of a building, especially when a property needs reposition, it needs repairs, maybe it's not even occupied or the occupancy rate is really low. Banks don't wanna fund that stuff. Even if you get a feasibility study done and even if you can prove to a bank that you're gonna lease it up, you're gonna tenant it up, you're gonna reposition it, you're gonna you're gonna fill it up with tenants. It's gonna be a beautiful building. They don't wanna provide acquisition funding. It's the toughest type of funding to get. But there's private lenders all over the place dying for yield. Dying for yield. They're dying for yield because they can't get it. You know, I talked to Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank just about a week or two ago, and he said a good return, if you could produce a 6% return for investors in today's market, that's really good. Really? 6%. I couldn't believe my ears, but 6% especially people that have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of money. They have a harder and harder and harder time deploying it all and doing good business deals or doing good real estate deals and getting a good return on their funds. So even if you can provide them a 6% return or a 7% consistent return or a five or a six or an 8% fixed return, there's so much freaking money out there, but you have to build your story. If you don't have experience, tell them about your mentor. If you don't have cash, tell them about your experience. If you don't have credit, explain why you have bad credit. Did you do another business deal? Did you go through a divorce? What's the reason, right? Because there's investors that are out there that will give you 200,000 or 500,000 or a million or 5 million or 10 million to fund your investments and your business if you can tell them the story. Why should they invest in you? Imagine walking in, similar to Shark Tank, in front of five investors, what are you gonna tell them to make them comfortable? What are you gonna tell them about your business? What are you gonna tell them about your investing strategy that's gonna make them buy in? And the first question, the question I always get, is not how much interest am I gonna get, but when am I gonna get my principal back? If you can answer that question, how and when am I gonna get my principal back? If you can answer that one question, you're gonna have the most investors that are interested in giving you capital. But you have to be a student of the game. You have to be somebody who's willing to study securities laws, real estate laws, look at deals, and structure deals that are win-win for your passive private investors. Otherwise, forget it. If it's all about you, they're not gonna invest.
So guys, if you like this video, definitely subscribe on YouTube and check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Shrek now, S-R-E-C now. And we'll see you over there. Definitely visit us on those networks all the time, pumping out new content every single day. Hope you enjoy it.